New Warcraft RPG in the works. We've we've talked a little bit about this before. Um, let's see what Marcellian has to say. Would you guys play a Warcraft RPG? I probably would. Get some good story out of it or something. Let's see what uh, what Marcellian has to say. We're going to have a Warcraft RPG game. I'm not talking about World of Warcraft, and I'm not talking about Warcraft 4, but a story-driven RPG with souls-like mechanics. That'd be crazy. Grab your axe and spell because we are exploring all the hints and leaks that will lead to a Warcraft role-playing game. As part of the crazy. earlier interview we I think one thing Dark Souls proved is that that genre is far from dead. There's a, there's a lot of people who still have to play through an RPG. And with doubt, with you know, with added content, people can create their own content for it. It's, it's like an evergreen thing. So I could I could imagine them making something like this. Covered before, and that's the post BlizzCon IGN interview with Holly Longdale and John Hyde. We know Warcraft is about to branch out. Since we already talked about the Netflix series, let's yeah. talk about the future of Warcraft. And we are going to start it off with John Hyde's statement on the topic. We have a full green light process for There's Warcraft. So many cool you know, characters it's you can a big play reason as. why, you know, Chris is back. Yeah, you know, we wanted him to, you know, be Imagine you play as Arthas in the Culling of Stratho. Kind of the arbiter of this is in, this is up. After BlizzCon ended, we realized that Warcraft is going to be more than just World of Warcraft, the successor of Warcraft 3. Although Hearthstone is based on the Warcraft universe, it's kind of treated like a spin-off of Warcraft. And yeah. as I am writing this script, I keep coming back to the way I phrased this and trying to correct myself by changing the Warcraft universe statement into World of Warcraft. But I can't, because it would be wrong. Hearthstone took elements out of Warcraft 3 and older Warcraft games, so it isn't just about World of Warcraft anymore. With the new True. Warcraft game that was released prior to BlizzCon, Warcraft Rumble, you could also say that this is a spin-off of World of Warcraft. But once again, it's not just World of Warcraft. For instance, the Banshee minion, although a character present in WoW, it actually functions like the Warcraft 3 Banshee caster, where you can use it to steal an enemy unit. While the mechanic will not work against you as the player in WoW for obvious reasons, the fact that it functions like the Warcraft 3 version shows that the inspiration for any Warcraft game Blizzard will make can extend to outside of World of Warcraft. Right, right. This is a that bit sense. of a stretch, but still makes the point that when creating the Rumble game, they didn't just copy pasta World of Warcraft characters, but instead borrowed from the whole Warcraft universe. And this way of describing our beloved IP will start to become more and more common with the future developing years of the new Blizzard under the Microsoft umbrella. That's yeah. essentially what the we have a full green light process for Warcraft means. The plan to expand to different I mean, it's such a it's such a valuable IP in terms of gaming. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you try to make more than one game off of it? That totally makes sense. And I imagine Microsoft would be totally behind that because it's it, it's it's a valuable franchise. There's money to be made. So yeah, I could totally see them going that, down this route and making a bunch of spin-off um, types of games or different types of games based on the uh, the Warcraft universe. Gaming genres has already started, and this wouldn't be something new. Neither is our Patreon, but it still is supporting our content. Yeah, Check, out Check out patreon.com slash Marcellian Online if you like this style of content and consider hopping on board the Marcellian Online team. You'll be supporting our content, of course, but also have access to some exclusive goodies like early access videos and custom 4K wallpapers with your character's transmog. We would Damn. also be eternally grateful and happy to badass. have you in the Marcellian Online fam. Where were we? Ah, Warcraft as a world is based a lot on Tolkien fantasy, and subsequently, the StarCraft universe was based on the Warhammer 40k universe. Now, right. if you are unfamiliar with the Warhammer 40k, you will be less so in the coming years, what with make Games move, Workshop so signing cool. a contract with Amazon Studios thanks in no small part to Henry Cavill's public push towards this end. Now, Warhammer is also a vast universe spanning dozens of games and is the closest franchise we have to Blizzard's StarCraft, while the Warhammer Fantasy universe can be considered to be the Warcraft version of that. Now, all of this is not as important as the fact that the Warhammer games spawned RTS titles with Dawn of War and Total War, not unlike Warcraft, created right. an MMO game in Warhammer Online Age you know, of Reckoning. I, I played this, man. 
I did play this. I thought this was gonna. I thought this was the WoW killer. I was all into the Warhammer Online. I, I even remember, like me and my friends, um, that morning we had a late start for school, so sometimes we had late starts. We went to the our local Walmart. It was like freaking crazy early in the morning. I forgot it was like it was open twenty four hours. We went like six a.m. or something and picked up Warhammer Online. Went back to my parents' house in the office, set up our laptops, installed that shit because there were still CDs at that time. We, you know, spent like whatever, an hour or two installing that shit while we ate breakfast. And then we played Warhammer Online the rest of the day. But it was janky. It was really janky. It felt like a, it didn't feel like an MMO. I felt like a lot of times I was just playing by myself. I don't know what it was about it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't last very long. They did have world events though before WoW. And those were pretty cool. Those like these live world events that would just suddenly happen in a zone. And I feel like, you know, Blizzard eventually took that like they do with a lot of things. Again, not unlike Warcraft and also dabbled into multiple role playing games. Once again, this stands as a precedent for big IPs to diversify. And we already are seeing this from Blizzard's Warcraft team. Although we made this point. And when I say world events, I'm not talking about like the Encourage world event that was in Warcraft. I'm talking about like, like, uh, you know, like the the tree event right now in the Emerald Dream, like shit like that. For it's even more relevant that now, relevant to the company's open-mindedness when it comes to spreading the Warcraft IP far and wide. And that is probably classic WoW. Likely influenced by old school RuneScape, this isn't surprising since the Blizzard devs are also known for taking a good formula and making it better. Right, just Usually. like I was saying. I mean, Overwatch won Game of the Year in 2016, and it was closely copying Team Fortress 2. The popularity of Classic WoW boomed, then roller coastered the following years. And with it, the devs have taken more unusual liberties with working on WoW by adding hardcore WoW and seasons of discovery. If anything, this speaks volumes of right. their openness to expand the World of Warcraft game as much as possible, straying little by little from their original MMO formula. With Crits Medicine on board, they now have what they need to keep the world building and story between franchises cohesive. To add to this, John Height went on to say, How do we signal to the world that, you know, Warcraft is a universe, 240 million strong, and we're going to grow from there, um, and we are going to branch into other things. What do our players want? What are the yeah. genres that are cool to them? What are the platforms that are cool to them? Man, I mean, I can't imagine that he's saying what are the genres that are cool to them and not not think of RPGs. Because that, that is totally, like, I, Dark Souls, I'm sure a lot of WoW players play Dark Souls. That's a guarantee. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's a genre that fits. I, I enjoy, I don't play a lot of RPGs. I did play The Witcher, which was really good. Wild Hunt, all that stuff. They, those were good. And I would play uh, through a WoW RPG just to get the story. Well, in the late 90s, just as the popularity of the adventure games genre reached its peak, Blizzard planned to release but oh, yeah, ended the up canceling RPG. Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans. Yeah, this was a totally right. different genre of gaming that they attempted right after the success of Warcraft 2. Since the title was If you don't know, this was uh, Blizzard was working on this and never released it. They were deep in development. It was later made into the Lord of the Clans book and also integrated and inspired the Warcraft 3 stories, later influencing World of Warcraft as well. The adventure genre was a popular one at the time and the team was up to expand in that area as well to push Warcraft to different types of gamers. And with that, we come to today. What are the genres that are cool to them? Hyde asked. This is once again talking about a Warcraft universe and other gaming genres that people like to play. I wonder what other gaming genres are popular. Yeah. And the game of the year is... Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. The Last of Us Part 2. Elder Ring. There you go. Outside of the game, it takes go. two. Since RPGs. Overwatch won Game of the Year in 2016, we have had only RPG titles win every single year. Big RPG titles like Elden Ring, God of War, Breath of the Wild, and let's not forget Baldur's True, Gate man. 3. The RPG titles. And I know Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, if you want to talk about what are games that WoW players are also playing, Baldur, if every WoW streamer I watch at some point was streaming Baldur's Gate 3 within the last year. And that game was totally and it totally enthralled the WoW community. So I, yeah, I'm sure Blizzard took notice. Been smoking the entire gaming industry for the past decade. And we aren't talking just about Game of the Year winners here. 
Suffice to say, to answer John Hyde's question of what other genres are cool hours, to geez. us gamers, it's RPGs, dude. RPGs! Although WoW well, with, is what, an Bandit? MMORPG, I make my stand when I say that the bigger reason it garnered its success was for the RPG element. If anything, the RPG element is what's keeping it totally. alive as we speak. Yeah. The MMO systems and qualities of the game have been dying since 2008 or whenever they introduced LFG in Wrath of the Lich King. But creating, customizing right. and leveling a character is the core identity of WoW. Whether it is the old school leveling that people can't seem to get enough of in classic or the power grinding character end game development of retail WoW, you know, the core player awesome, base still one. enjoys the IP and I would bet that an actual RPG addition to the Warcraft universe would change the Blizzard gaming world entirely. And where sure. do we go from here? In terms of the stories they can approach for an RPG, the options I, are... I am thinking, though, what where would be a fine place to play an RPG? Like, you gotta imagine an RPG, you'll have less abilities. It'd be more about, like, ducking and rolling and, you know, doing the typical RPG stuff. Where could you probably play an RPG besides a PC? Probably be playable on console. Who owns a console? Oh, Microsoft, who also happens to have purchased Blizzard. So I wonder if part of like Microsoft's thing with Blizzard is like, hey man, can you get some of your good IP, like your Warcraft IP, onto console somehow? How could they do that? A good RPG would be a, a way to do it, for sure. I can imagine that. ...are endless. The world of Warcraft has expanded so much that there is literally no shortage of stories they can tell through a separate game. We can explore Anduin's journey from his Shadowlands position to whatever will happen in War Within. Or take a no-name champion yeah. on a mission to chase down a Riddicron across they the Warcraft multiverse. That. And that's all fine and dandy. But how will the game play out? Well, in my opinion, Blizzard has two main options. They can take the tactical route of Baldur's Gate 3, Divinity Original Sin or any other tactical RPG and employ their actual smart design of combat systems. However, I think this is less likely than actually featuring a proper action-based combat system, yeah, something similar to I the Souls-like games. I think something At this like a Souls-like game would be very cool. pretty much all fantasy RPG games, and not only, that come out have a version of swing your sword and hope it hits the enemy, dodge or parry the enemy's hit, counter with your move, and then just build upon the system with more skills. Yeah. The Souls-like combat has been used by most, if not all, modern RPG games, from games like Witcher 3 to Star Witcher Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And we already know that Blizzard is really good at designing combat yeah, mechanics considering game, how WoW plays today. And this isn't a sarcastic comment. I don't think people realize how polished and well designed the combat is despite it being an archaic system of tap targeting. Yeah, you think it would have to be a detached story from what they currently do so they could have maybe creative freedom? Maybe. Although I do think there's a, there there are a lot of stories in in World of Warcraft that could be um, explored more. Well, I should say in Warcraft, right? Like he did, not just World of Warcraft. Uh, explored in, in an RPG setting. I don't know the first in in uh, you know the destruction of uh, the the World Tree, right? You know the, what's it called? The way the Night Elves lost their uh, immortality. Now I know that was played through before in an RTS format, but I can imagine it in an RPG format would be kind of cool. A Draenor Outland could be explored. Yep, yeah, that's true. If they're playing through the first war, maybe. I don't know. Uh, there are stories that could be played through completely in an RPG format. Maybe you could um, RPG as Arthas Menethil, right? And like the and we 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 know the story of the calling of Stratham and everything. But then he adventures out to Northrend. Maybe you could become the Lich King, like with his crew out there. You know, going through the shit they went through. RPG, fight Illidan, all that stuff. Like, those things are, are possible. We've never played through Arthas' storyline as Arthas. So there's some the interesting stuff. Of Even Illidan's storyline, same The thing. response of your inputs and how your character portrays those actions in-game is so crisp that people just take it for granted. I'm not saying it's the best, although... It may be in its subgenre. You do or kind even of in Warcraft perfect. 3, this is But true. I have played a bunch of other MMOs and a bunch of other action RPGs, and I can count on one hand uh, RPGs how many games do it though. better, and I don't even need to use all my fingers. That, in my book, is an impressive feat considering the game is 20 years old and considering the ups and downs the developers have been going through over the last couple of years, likely a decade from the rumors. 
Blizzard has also been known to take a successful model and make it theirs and it wouldn't be entirely surprising to see them come up with their own combat system inspired by what's on the market today. Sure. Look, you could you could totally have even just like, you know, your everyday orc or human, like create a new orc or human character and just have an adventure in Azeroth as an RPG, right? Like just defeat bosses and do all kinds. It doesn't have to be like a main storyline. It could just be RPGing through Azeroth. I would do that. Like, this could be some random orc, right? And you're just totally adventuring through, starting with smaller bosses and working your way up. I, that could be a, a storyline they play through. Doesn't have to be an established one. That's for sure. Imagine an Elder Scrolls game where you get to actually customize your orc warrior and you actually go out and adventure single player style. Another benefit up, of this baby? happening is they can experiment with different graphical engines. I doubt they will stray too far from the cartoony art style, although with the advent of gritty and dark RPGs lately, I wouldn't be entirely surprised. I would hope they would. I'd, I'd hope they'd give us a new art style. I'd want to see Azeroth in a, in a new way. I'd like to see the cities in a new light. That would be part of why I'd want to play the RPG. I don't want to just see it again the same from a different angle than I see it in World of Warcraft. I'd like to see it reimagined in a new like 4K version like this. That'd be cool. Yeah, Arthas being off limits. I, I, I don't. I mention Arthas just because it's the easy one for my brain to go to. But I wouldn't care that it, if it's Arthas or not. Like I said, the the best way to do it might be to just be a random orc or human in the world. That could be the best way to do it. Because then you're not tied down to any lore that already exists. You just you just adventure through and play. At leap but a classical high fantasy RPG where we explore castles oh, and man, dungeons, loot, forest. legendary axes and staves, cast massive pyroblasts to save towns, is essentially the grounded role-playing experience that players have been asking for. Yes, the people want this. Look how popular classic is even if just for a month at a time. The cosmic setting is not appealing to the majority of the player base. But maybe that's not the issue. And the issue is the way you are immersed in that setting. If they let me make my undead rogue and set me on an epic quest across the void to spy on and figure out what Eridicron is doing on planet X, I would play that shit yesterday. It can be an undead rogue. It can also be an orc blade master or a human bard. Yeah, they we could, can they could actually have, have the classes. classes we have been asking for for years. It's difficult to add more to WoW on top of the 39 existing specs. Look how hard it is to keep augmentation in check. But that's not going to be the case for a single player RPG. That might finally get us the goblin and gnome tinker class we have Tinkers. been wanting at least since BFA when Megator like a meme at was a point. boss in a raid. An RPG that will be cross-platform because, you know, it will. An RPG that can that's be played right. on, on Xbox, Xbox. and yep. may even be Xbox exactly. exclusive at launch because, you know, Microsoft did actually buy Game Blizzard. Pass. Wouldn't an exclusive RPG title sound like the perfect magnet for the players into the franchise? Because Warcraft is, after all, at a crossroads. You may choose to believe and it or it's not. Such a, an RPG is a more accessible game than an MMO. No doubt. Like, you could totally get people into World of Warcraft through an RPG. Because somebody could play through that RPG on their Xbox. They're not really an MMO guy. But they get really into the world. And they're like, how can I explore this world more? How can I live in this world? Why don't you fucking download World of Warcraft, man? You play a little bit in there, so it could it could bring more people into the game. It's it's a it's a win win if Blizzard does this. I, that's why I think they will. Uh, but through our own biases as content creators, we have been through WoW's development stages since Legion, even earlier for Marcellian, until today. And let me tell you, WoW is not the same. The devs are not the same, and the future is not the same. Since the future will also be a Netflix series. <laughs> You bet your sweet tushy it will be. Click the damn video and check it out for yourselves because the future is bright, the future is Warcraft, and my batch of copium is delicious. <laughs> yeah, no, all of this makes sense. I see them doing it. Totally see them going down this route. RPG, I think, will happen. And, uh, and I look forward to uh, playing it, if it does.